see with Parks Fly Shop's fly tying video for May 11th, 2011. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is just a basic caddis emerger, uh, which would make a good dropper behind a dry fly during the summer. Uh, similar sort of fly, but in olive, would uh, would have been a good bet during the Mother's Day caddis hatch. Unfortunately, it looks like our Mother's Day caddis hatch is going to be almost completely washed out by runoff. Our uh, runoff just started here. Anyway, what I'm tying here, uh, tying on here, is a size 14 dry fly hook, a Diariki 305. And this is a somewhat shorter shank dry fly hook than I usually prefer. And the reason I'm using that rather than the uh, longer MFC hook or uh, like a TMC 100 is because this is a somewhat shorter hook, which I think more resembles a caddis pupa, which uh, those longer, you know, mayflies tend to be longer for their given hook size than a uh, caddis is. My thread is 8.0 black, and my body here, which I'm dubbing right now, is uh, is uh, Scud and Shrimp Tan uh, Dave Whitlock SLF blend, and uh, obviously this isn't a scud or a sow bug, but uh, or a scud or a shrimp, but it uh, I don't really care about that. I just think it's a good-looking dubbing. So what I'm going to do here first is wrap a pretty fuzzy fat dubbed body and I absolutely want to have some of those strands of dubbing sticking out like they are. And like I said I'm tying this on a dry fly hook but if you wanted it to run deeper you could do it on a uh, on a wet fly hook or if you really wanted it to run deep um, like for a nymphing rig or something like that you could tie it on a longer shank hook and then also use a bead for the head. Now my wing and legs are a uh, partridge feather, a brown partridge feather. What I've done there is uh, separated out the, the side portion of the legs and the center portion, center portion of that feather. And I'm going to tie that in the center portion right on top of the hook like so. And that's going to spread out some, but not to the extent that uh, that it would if I was wrapping it so that looks more like a, uh, a wing as well as legs and then for the legs what I'm going to do here take the remaining portion of that same feather and uh, strip off a few more of those fibers because you don't want a whole you don't want a really heavy hack on this fly I'm going to tie that in a little bit shorter than the uh, the top portion of that wing leg combo area it's going to kind of grab it like that and tie it in kind of towards the bottom portion of the fly. So that gives me a, a heavier top wing that, uh, especially when this is, this is fished on the swing, um, that'll stream out back over the top of the fly and then somewhat shorter legs on the sides and towards the bottom but not quite on the bottom of that fly. Then my head on this fly is going to be two strands of peacock curl. Let's tie those in. And as I often do, I'm going to reinforce that with some super glue. And that's both going to secure the peacock when I wrap the peacock into that glue, and that'll also help keep the wings and the wing and legs from pulling out. And last step is to whip finish. And there's a completed kind of a basic car partridge caddis emerger. As always, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions uh, or comments or flies you'd like to see me tie, uh, feel free to contact us. Thanks.